Hi, and welcome back to Elfful Chronicles Tutorials. Today we're looking at the heart and soul of Elfful Chronicles gameplay, the activation sequence. Last time we looked at what a turn looks like. If you remember, the tactical phase is the main phase of the turn, where the action happens. The tactical phase is a series of activation sequences stringed together. In one activation sequence you will take a closer control of one of your models, move it around the board, and perform one action with it, like an attack or dodge. Every activation point an active player has allows the active player to do one activation sequence. To perform an activation sequence, the active player selects a model on their side with available activation points and spends one. This begins the activation sequence, making the selected model an activated model. Now the player performs the next steps with that model the movement step, the action step, and the resolution step. Note that in between movement and action step, the enemy player may interrupt the sequence in what is called a reaction step. We'll get into that in a moment. First is the movement step. In this step, the active model will declare its movement, such as walk, idle, run, or climb. For more details on those and how they are performed, check our video with that title. The second step is the reaction step. This is an optional step performed by the opposing reactive player. The opponent's models can declare reactions to an activated model by spending their own activation points. However, only models that have line of sight to the activated model or are close enough to it can react. They can only react with normal actions such as attack or dodge. For more details on actions, reactions and line of sight, please check our videos on those topics. In the third step, the active model will declare its action. The most common actions, as discussed before, are attack and dodge, but there are many more, giving you many tactical options. And with both reactions and actions declared, we move to the fourth and final step, the resolution step, where the dice will be rolled to determine the outcome of declared actions and reactions. With these four steps concluded, the activation sequence of this model ends and the active player is free to begin a new activation sequence. For the new activation sequence, the active player can choose any of their models that still have available activation points. This also includes the model that was just activated. This will be all for today. See you next time when we look at movements and how to use them on the table. Thank you for watching.